I'm Stuart Kransbuehler. I'm the head bat maker for Grey Nichols in Melbourne, Australia. The company started back in 1876 um, and we started manufacturing in Melbourne in 1973. We're the only brand that uh, processes the bats from the very beginning, from the growing right to the finished product that you see in store or used on the international stage. So the initial process is uh, when the trees are felled, each tree is cut into what is called rounds. Um, which are immediately split into what's called a cleft um, and graded roughly by where it's come from the tree and semi-aesthetically. At that stage they're air dried um, for a period of up to 12 months and then kiln dried for a six week period just to make sure the moisture content is perfect. What we need to do then is obviously we, we need to cut the clefts to length then we machine them through, we have a four-sided moulder that gets it to the legal width and just cleans the face of the blade so we can see what we're what we're actually finishing up with um, towards the final product. At that stage, once they're all graded, all the clefts are pressed, um, just to ensure for perfect rebound, making sure nothing's overpressed. Um, every cleft is tested, just to make sure that the rebound's right where it needs to be. And then we're ready for the handle fitting. So uh, this is a most important part of the process where the splice needs to be absolutely perfect match to the handle. This is basically just glued in with a PVA wood glue, which is the perfect um, glue for the application needed. Um, the splice itself is the tightest fit we can possibly make, and really you can almost dry fit the bats and hit a ball, and that's how tight we tend to make it. The next stage for that is we cut the bats to lengths, cut the shoulders out, the toe to length, and then we're ready for all the handwork that starts. So with all the handwork, we still use old, old tools like draw knives, um, spoke shaves, um, just to final, finally shape the blade to the final specs. Um, once this is all achieved, the handle shape is done and to make sure that the handle feels right, the bat feels right, um, and then we move on to what's called drum sanding. Uh, the drum sanding then um, gives the final weight of the bat and the smooth profile that we're after. So once that process is done, they move on to the next stage, which is fine sanding. So it's orbital sanded and we bone the edges on every single bat. Um, this just ensures that the edges are nice and hardened. So once that's that achieved, we're ready to polish the bat. So this is uh, polished with a beeswax and just seals the blade ready for an oil application just to allow it to stop it drying out. So the next stage after that is we bind the handle, which just allows the handle to um, hold together without delaminating. That's the main reason handles are bound. Um, also a nice tight amount of string around the shoulders, and this just stops the handle from flexing too much, which causes damage to the blades. We then are off for labelling. So all bats are labelled to a specific model that is required and then every single bat is tested and inspected to make sure that it's up to standards. Um, rejected bats obviously go from there. Yeah, I'm really excited um, obviously to come down here to Melbourne um, to the Grey Nichols factory and, and spend some time with Stu, um, the bat maker. So he's a genius behind the scenes. So it's always nice to come down and thank him in person and see what goes on um, down here in the factory. Australia's been an amazing country over the last few years, particularly in terms of the growth of women's sport. And um, I feel like women's cricket is sort of leading the way in that sense. The fact that we get rewarded, I guess, with a, a T20 World Cup um, in your country, I guess it goes to show that you're going in the right direction in terms of having your sport be progressive. It's an exciting time to be down here in Melbourne. Obviously, the, the ICC World Cup's coming up and we're just about to get prepped for that. So just down to see a run down here and, and hopefully get a new bats for Stu to make. Been making him work hard this year. I like um, a bat that's going to score me lots of runs, <laughs> first and foremost. Um, I like a bat that has a bit of weight behind it but doesn't feel like it when you pick it up. My first Grey Nichols bat was when I was about seven or eight and I used to play in the backyard with my older brother and we had to share this bat that we had. Um, and yeah, it was the first one I ever got and it was a cashmere willow and I didn't know what that meant at the time, but um, yeah, and then a few years ago it got passed on to one of the kids in the neighborhood that live in my hometown up, up in Harvey Bay. So some little boys got my first ever bat. 